Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a test I did and what I tried to achieve from this test. Now the test was I was using the mod that allows you to have the forest map up while you're playing. You press M and it opens it up. You can't minimize it or anything like that, but it's pretty much exactly like the forest map. Well, it is. It's made by the same guy. He also made the ultimate cheat menu. His name is Alice Gut Unter or Alice Gut Inter. I don't know. Anyway, so what I did was put my patrol map overlay over the top of it. And at first I was like, oh, the patrol routes must have changed. But no, it's not really the case because as you can see from these little red dots, it tracks where the cannibals and mutants are. Now, this is only on day one. I've sped it up quite dramatically. They are hovering around near where I am. See where the white thing is? Not the plane. That's actually not where I am. It's right next to the film crew camp. You can kind of see it. As you look around the rest of the map, there's no cannibals to be seen. They all hang around where I am. Now, I already knew this, but I didn't realize it to this extent. And they do some pretty crazy stuff like run backwards and forwards and stuff like that. Now, I'm pretty sure this is accurate. I've checked it out and it seems to be on the money. Now, the patrol map is still quite accurate. They will still take the routes that you can see, though I have missed a few on this one. This must be an outdated map. Uh, that's okay. We work with it. No matter where you are on the map, the enemies will head towards you. And a way to avoid them coming for you is to trick the AI. Now, this isn't glitching or anything. It's just you're outsmarting them because they've got the advantage of knowing where you are at all times and they'll head towards you, as you can see on the map. Now, I'm just using Photoshop here. I'm just going to draw some things. I'm not very good at Photoshop, just letting you know. So I'm going to draw the water roughly where it is in blue, which I probably shouldn't because the blue is going to look like it's <laughs> the same thing. But yeah, we'll work with it. Ah, never mind. They can get through there. They can get through here too. But that's a bridge there, and that's a bridge there. Here you going with the blue. Okay, that's good enough. Now, I'm going to show you what this means, and they can't get past this point. So in light blue, I'm going to make cliffs that they can't pass. For example. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to show you how you can outsmart them. Now, for instance, you are... Well, let's put a draw a picture for you. What can you be? Um, you can be light bulb because you're bright for subscribing to me <laughs> jesus and say um i'll use red for this and i'll just draw the enemy's lines okay what did i don't know layer say for instance you're up there now for them to get to you and they're in the say the main cannibal village they're gonna have to come all the way along here all the way up here and they would take this route come up along here across here up there to here right now what you can do Select the damn light bulb. You come over here. What happens is while they're taking that journey, they could get to about here and then they'll have to go back. So if you've noticed in my season five playthrough and even season three, I believe, I've barely had any contact with cannibals because I'm constantly going backwards and forwards between these two spots. So this is what I mean by you can trick them because they're going to head to you no matter what. And also if you've got more than 45 structures, 45 built things, what that means is that, what that means is that they'll have designated attacks sent to you so you got three attacks three different types of attacks you got one which is the normal patrol routes which is what they take you got two which is the ones that hover around you and three you've got designated attacks i think that's how it works so if you're looking for a more peaceful game you need to build in somewhere like here where you can constantly move and keep them on their toes basically now this isn't 100 percent guaranteed to work because the patrol routes number two like i said they're gonna or number one they're constantly going to be going backwards and forwards here and up here but the designated ones, you're going to constantly keep them in a uh, sort of a frenzy looking for you. There's plenty more spots. It's just you have to keep moving. Say if you built in, say, an open area like here, and you're getting all your trees from around here, they're just going to keep coming to you. There's no real escape. But say if you're up here, and you get all your logs from, say, here, they'll be constantly going like this. It's not a wide arc, but they'll do that. If you really want to test this out, what I recommend you do is you get a friend to be in the game. You go and hide somewhere, maybe on this island here, and they run around the map doing things. Not too much. Yeah, just do enough and watch the map while they're doing it. You could put God Mode on, record it, and watch where the enemies go. <sighs> so this is why I've generally said if you're getting attacked too much in your base, say if you build, I don't know, here, and you're getting attacked a lot, you go on the other side of the map, say here, do some stuff. No, that's dangerous. Don't go up there. Say maybe up here. No, that's dangerous too, shit. Um... Say here. If you're up here, then they've all been congregating around here. It's going to take them ages to get up there. So yeah, that's how you can 
get a more peaceful game. Though keep in mind, if you're going to do this, this patrol route here, all along here, is going to be really dangerous. And also, if you build on an island, you'll see what they did in the game. They'll do this thing where they'll just hang around here, and here, and here. So, based on this drawing here, you can tell exactly what I mean. This drawing is very sophisticated, as you've seen. I've drawn it in real time while recording. So, hopefully, there's no confusion about it. And just to let you know, if you say build here, they can't get to you here, but they will come here and scream at you. If you provoke them, they might glitch across the river. Cowmen can easily do it, sometimes Virginia's. Just anything fast, and obviously the worm can come over there, but remember the worm has only got a 5% chance of spawning after day 40, so it's very, very small chance. So it is a very small chance, but yeah. And just remember that making noise, dropping trees and stuff will draw their attention. Don't bother avoiding the 45 building thing, because they're going to come for you regardless. 45 buildings, it won't take you long to get that at all. Say you're building here, you build a, a wall along here like I did with my deadfall wall, I never got attacked. They just couldn't even get through. So yeah. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>